Hi everyone, I'm Yesar from Cars and Crowns and for this series we're gonna discuss about the range of the Taycan how far you can use the car and for that matter we're gonna have another chat with Jason Broom, the Managing Director of Porsche Indonesia How are you today Jason? I'm very well thank you, thank you for coming back and thank you for taking the time to talk about the Porsche Taycan Okay, uh, range seems to be a hot topic for the Taycan, but can we really achieve the 400 km range? Uh, very much so. I guess the question is, do you really need 400 km range? You know, we kind of say for the GT2 RS, do you really need 700 horsepower? The answer is, it's nice to have. The question should be, how far do customers drive every day and how often do they fill up with fuel? I think range gives people's confidence. This is a new technology, people are not used to it. So we gained from experience in the internal combustion engine cars, customers want to have the ability to have the range in case they want to go long distances. So we're quite confident that the, the numbers that are st stipulated on the website, that range will definitely be possible in Indonesia. Can you share uh, about the technologies that make the Taycan have a better range than the other electric cars? Yeah, that's a really good question. It comes down to thermal management. So we mentioned before about keeping the battery at the optimum temperature. So the car is constantly monitoring and measuring the performance of the vehicle, the demands of the driver, the temperature of the battery. You know, there's different modes available in the car. So for example, if you wanted to switch to range mode, the car would then analyze all of the electrics in the car and say, what do I need to have on? You know, are there any systems that are running in the background that we could reduce the power on to make sure we're not draining the battery too much. Other things are the aerodynamics of the car. If you go into range mode, the car will lower the suspension so that there's less coefficient of drag on the car. So less drag means better economy. So you'll get more range. So the whole car is designed around trying to get the best possible range out of the battery. Uh, the Taycan have the regeneration feature. Can you share more about it and how much it adds to the range of the car? Yeah, so it's a very common feature in the electric vehicles that there's some kind of recuperation, but Porsche approached this slightly differently. There's a so-called one pedal approach. So for us, we didn't want to take this approach. Porsche is a dynamic vehicle. You want to be involved in the driving. So we opted for the system where it, the accelerator pedal goes accelerating and the brake pedal does the braking. But what's interesting is 90% of the braking is done by the regeneration motor and only 10% by the brake pads. So what we're seeing is that the brake pads are lasting anything up to six years. So that shows you how much recirculation there is, but we're also able to generate 265 kilowatts of regeneration, which is three times the battery power. So we're quite confident that, that this is extending the range of the vehicle. So there are some online reviews and people found out that they can achieve higher range. Does it mean that uh, Porsche is being conservative this time around? We like to think we're conservative, but we also don't want to have a situation where a customer can't reproduce the circumstances that we've done. We don't want to over-promise and under-deliver. So whatever we stipulate in the brochures or online is achievable in the real world by our customers. Yes, it's, it's become a bit of a trend that people are posting videos, oh, I got this better miles, I got this better range, I did this, etc., etc. And this is great for us. It shows confidence in the brand and we want people to understand if they buy something from us, they get exactly what they wanted and probably a little bit more. So let's say a customer is out on the road and uh, he doesn't have access to fast charging, how long does it take to fully charge the car? The simple answer really is it will charge while you're asleep. I think the, the main thing to understand is how much range do you need from the battery, how, how long do you need to charge the car for. Research shows us that over 80% of customers are charging the vehicle at home. So if you have a 400 kilometer range and you're only driving an average of 50, 60 kilometers a day, you're really not shouldn't be in an environment where you have to worry about, about charging. The simple maths are the 11 kilowatt charger that comes with the car, the car has an 88 kilowatt battery, so it's about seven to eight hours to charge the battery. So it, we're quite confident that overnight is, is, is sufficient for what you would use during the day. Okay, thank you Jason for elaborating about the range of the Porsche Taycan. Uh, for the next series, uh, I think driving experience will be interesting since it's a Porsche. Can we uh, talk about it next time? 
Yeah, absolutely. Driving experience is something that I'm personally happy about and all Porsche owners are most interested in is the, the see, touch and feel. Is it really a Porsche? So for the next series, we're going to discuss about the driving experience of the Porsche Taycan. Is it really a Porsche? So stay tuned for the next series.